He's certainly going through the mill, isn't he? Once the king of daytime TV. Now he's lost everything. And to top it all off, his biggest supporter, who helped him through the toughest times in his life, has gone. Announcing the death of his beloved mother Pat, aged 88, Philip Schofield paid tribute to his magnificent mum. The grief-stricken Castaway star broke the news to his fans on Instagram, writing, Today, at 3pm and after a heartbreaking weekend, my magnificent mum decided to go to her beloved Brian. Over three days we held her, loved her, hugged her and said everything that needed to be said, she was calm, peaceful, beautiful and dignified. I will forever be proud and privileged that she was my mum. Philip also gave his eternal thanks to the paramedics, the Trellisk A&E department in Truro, Cornwall, and critical care team who he said have been in the past and this weekend my mums, and our angels. He signed off the post with a heartbroken emoji alongside the words, I love you mum, forever. Philip's mum Pat has supported him through the darkest moments in his personal life and career over the last year and many are questioning whether the turmoil contributed to her health woes. Last year Philip Schofield held a vigil by his mother's hospital bedside after she fell seriously ill, she was treated at the time for an unknown condition for several days. Pat then returned to her home in Newquay, where Philip stayed with her and lovingly cared for her while she recuperated, it was reported at the time that she was admitted to hospital after the strain of her other son Timothy's conviction became too much for her. Philip was so concerned for his mother that he moved home to Cornwall to be with her. A source revealed at the time, it's a relief for everyone that Pat is home, it has been a terribly torrid time for her. She has been under so much stress lately, it is a lot for anyone, let alone someone of her age. Philip is playing the dutiful son and is planning to spend time in Cornwall caring for her. Last year, Philip Schofield received a phone call that would change his life forever and Pat was right by his side. While getting fish and chips with his mother, Philip Schofield received a phone call from his manager telling him bosses at ITV wanted him to leave this morning. After the news broke regarding his brother Timothy's crimes, in an interview, which is now disputed by ITV, Philip said, I had to go down to Cornwall to be with my mother for the sentencing. And our family thing was always to buy fish and chips and go and sit on the headland. I picked my mum up and she went in to get the fish and chips and while she was getting them, my phone rang. It was my then manager saying, mate, I am so sorry, it has become too loud for ITV. You will have to step down from this morning. And she arrived in the car. She said to me before I arrived, you're not coming down with any bad news, are you? She sat in the car and she was all happy to see me. And then she said, oh, your face has changed. I said, let's go on to the headland. And I had to tell her, Philip Schofield has not yet confirmed his mother Pat's cause of death, but he has previously revealed how his mother and brother were both diagnosed with type 1 diabetes within six months of one another, speaking to health awareness. He said, my brother and mother are both type 1 diabetics and have been for the last 25 years, so it is something that as a family, we are very used to. If either of them have a hypo, we can recognize the signs and we know what to do. My mum goes particularly bonkers when she goes low, so when she starts talking nonsense, we know what's happening. But apparently Pat was a bit of a daredevil, and in 2017, she fulfilled a lifelong ambition as she went on a wing walk for her 81st birthday, with Philip Schofield filming her from the ground. The footage was then shown on ITV's This Morning. A beaming Phil sat on the sofa next to Holly Willoughby as he jokingly told how he thought she was absolutely bonkers. A gleeful Holly commented how she was loving every second of it, as Pat smiled and waved as she was flown around while strapped on top of a plane. And Philip told viewers that his mother landed and said she wanted to do the full loop. It's just extraordinary, he said. It was believed at the time that Pat was the oldest woman in the UK to do a loop the loop. Pat had followed in her son Philip's footsteps of doing a wing walk to raise money for the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme. The Duke of Edinburgh's official Twitter account wrote at the time, Wishing Mrs. Pat Schofield the best of luck with her wing walk today for her D of E challenge, following in the footsteps of Philip Schofield for his D of E diamond challenge last year. She's fulfilling a lifetime ambition completing this daredevil wing walk, and she's raised an incredible £1,800 for our charity already. Interestingly, now that Philip Schofield has drawn everyone's attention to his late mother's wing walk, we remembered that in one of our previous videos.
we documented an odd exchange when Philip Schofield informed the Duke of Edinburgh that he was doing a wing walk for charity, an exchange which was captured on video, where Philip said, I've agreed to do a challenge, sir, for the awards themselves. I'm going to wing walk for you, sir, on the top of a plane. To which Prince Philip replied, Who's trying to get rid of you? Make of that what you will. We digress. Back in February 2020, Phil's mum Pat said how proud she was of her brave and inspiring son when he came out as gay live on TV. Apparently when Philip drove to Cornwall to see his mother before his public announcement to tell her he was gay, she told him, I don't care. In an interview, Pat said, for him to be so brave in front of so many people was inspiring because I know how hard it was for him to do. I love Steph and the girls more than anything in the world and I will always be there for them. When Philip drove to Cornwall to tell me, the first thing I said was, I don't care. Yes, it was a shock, but nothing is a family that we can't support and applaud. Over the years, Philip Schofield has shared many hilarious moments with his mum, including an amusing text exchange when Pat had her nails done and she couldn't type properly until they were dry. The text saw his mum write, no, I know, but I hate that. To which, Philip instantly replied, mess, laugh out loud. I'll finish your sentence for you, after seeing his message, Pat hit back, mess, sorry had my nails done, now I can't type. But Philip previously opened up on his mother's loneliness, following the death of his dad Brian, who suffered a heart attack in 2008, age 72. He said, I know my mum, we lost my dad in 2008, she's still saying she's terribly lonely. She looks at other people if they're still couples, and so you need contact. You need a family around you. You need people to be able to talk to if you can, if you're lucky enough to have them around. Following the sad news of Pat's passing, Philip's daughters paid tribute to their beloved grandmother, Bo. Sharing two photographs, Molly Schofield wrote, Love you so much, Bo. Give a huge kiss to Bri when you see him. Together again. And Philip's daughter, Ruby, wrote, We will miss you so much, Bo. Love you more than yesterday and less than tomorrow. Bri has been waiting for you. Give him the biggest hug for us. During Philip Schofield's recent comeback on Channel 5's Castaway, which aired just weeks before the death of his beloved mother Pat, Phil's daughter Molly reflected on her family bonds and revealed how their family ordeal has ironically brought them closer. Speaking fondly of her father, she said, We've seen him at his lowest times, but I've been so proud of him, and as a daughter to see the love that people had for him, that when it's taken away it's just heartbreaking. Molly then poignantly added, I would love people to understand what's actually happened 